All right, we're here with the second uh, video in our microscope series, the um, how to use a microscope. Uh, first, we're going to start with uh, the cord. We talked about this in the last video. We're going to unwrap it like that. We're going to plug it in, and then we're going to turn it on. Um, if it doesn't turn on, I'll play with the uh, switches in the um, in the table. It might be a short circuit. Now, when we carry, we always carry the microscope with two hands on the arm and the face. And then, um, we are once we have it all set up, we are ready to start using our microscope. We always, always, always want to start with the stage down, all the way down, as far down as it can go. And then, always with the smallest magnification, so 10 times 4 on our Smallest magnification will be 40 times, but on our, our smallest objective lens, 4. What we're going to do is we're going to put our slide under here, put the clips on top, and then the stage should be all the way down. You're going to start with the coarse adjustment knob. And you're going to look in the ocular lens and you're going to bring the stage up until it comes into sort of focus until you see like a, a hint of something. And once you see something, it doesn't have to be a clear image. Do the best you can to get it as close to um, clear or clarity as you can. Then you use the fine adjustment knob. Remember, this is for greater precision. Then you put it right perfectly into focus. And now you should see a very clear image. Only once it's in great clarity, once it's very um, very clear, that can you move up to not 40 times, but only go up step by step to the 10 times. Now you're going to use um, the course adjustment knob ever so slightly, just a little bit. And once it comes into uh, clarity, use that fine adjustment knob to get it into perfect clarity. And once it's once it's perfect, make sure that your image is right in the middle because if your image is or your uh, specimen isn't in the middle, you won't be able to see it. If it's way off center. Next, <clears throat> we're going to move up to the largest. We don't always use the largest objective lens, but if we do, this is how we get there. Now, we're going to um, probably not even use the course adjustment knob at this point because the image is so close and so large that we only want very small scale movements. And that is the procedure. And at this point, I'm going to check to see. I'm going to add light. I'm going to take light away. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Now, one thing I don't want you guys to do, big, big, big no-no, is don't turn. This is going to be loud. <laughs> Don't turn the microscope like that. It, it isn't good for it. So if I hear that noise, it's like, it's like a nails on a chalkboard. Make sure you don't do that. Finally, what I'm going to have you guys do is um, exercise microscope etiquette. The next person that's going to use this microscope is going to have to start with the stage all the way down and on the smallest um, objective lens. So to have good etiquette, we're always going to take the slide off. Don't leave the slide on because when you go to pick it up, it's going to slide and it's going to slide off and break. Please don't put cover slips or slides in the sink either. We're going to drop our, our stage all the way down, as far down as it will go. Then we're going to put our, um, so this stage is going to go all the way down. Then we're going to put the objective lens on four or the smallest because remember, that's where we always start. Stage all the way down and on the smallest objective lens. <clears throat> We're going to turn it off and then wrap up the cord. And put it away where it's supposed to go. Remember, if you're an A table, it goes in the A cupboard. If you're a B table, it goes in the B cupboard. And whoever's in charge of microscopes is going to keep a good eye on that. I think that is everything.